Authorities in Colbert County are getting ready to launch a new system to help identify people with autism. Severe autism can often make it difficult to communicate. Now this new system should make it easier for first responders. There's 19's Addison Woolman has the story. Fabian Odin is a medical student originally from Tennessee. Now he's working with Colbert County 911 to develop a system to notify first responders if a person they're responding to has autism. Odin says he hopes this new program can help first responders properly communicate with people that have autism and prevent unnecessary altercations. We always encounter patients with autism, but it's always a little bit too late to be like, oh, this patient has autism. I'm just trying to change it to where we're on the front end of it and get the information beforehand. That way we can know how to safely approach this person and also keep them safe as well. Starting July 5th, people will be able to scan a QR code and fill out a form that tells first responders the best ways to communicate with a specific person who is autistic. If authorities are dispatched to help them, they'll automatically be notified about that person's tendencies and communication preferences. We're hopeful that this will definitely be something that uh, picks up and, and grows exponentially. Uh, and we're willing to do anything we can to, to not only help our responders and the people that we dispatch for, but also to, to help those who are in need in the community. Smith says they will start sharing the QR code soon. If you have a family member or friend with autism, you are encouraged to fill out the form as soon as possible. In Colbert County, Addison Wilman, News 19. Now the QR code and link to the form will be shared on social media. For more information on that, just go to WHNT.com.